everybody. Welcome back. I hope you guys are all doing well. Today I'm going to share with you um, how to use up some of your book pages. This one just happens to be some uh, music sheet uh, page. And with this, we're going to create a three pocket with three tags to go in our junk journals. Um, this could be either glued into on a page. Um, I hope this will show up, but you could either glue this so that you make a fourth pocket or you could just add a hinge to it and it would flip out where you could have some uh, journaling spaces or you could add additional pockets to it as well. So there's a lot that you could do with this and I do want to start uh, working on a series of how to use up book pages because um, they're easy to come by. We, most of us have got hundreds of them in our stash and um, there's just a lot of really nice uses for them. So with, he, with this one I just again I doubled up the paper just to make it a little bit sturdier. Added a tab with my tab punch and then just added some doily, a sticker. Um, this is some of the tracing, uh, I'm sorry, the sewing pattern paper and then that's one tag. Another tag is just adding some other paper with some stamped images and then this one just a slightly smaller one with some cutouts and uh, another little sticker. So all of this I think was about two two sheets of the music notepad or music note uh, sheets. So what are you going to need for this? Book pages, um, some of your little die cuts or stickers, and then if you have a tab punch, you would want that. And then, of course, your scissors, paper cutter, and some glue. So it's a, it's a really um, minimal supplies project, <coughs> which is what I'm trying to keep um, these projects to. Because I have minimal supplies, and I know a lot of people out there are just getting into it, and they don't have a lot. So let's get started. Um, the size is going to depend on... on what project you're making, but this one is about three and three quarters by seven. But you can adjust that um, if you if your journal is smaller. This one, I think I might make the next one a little bit smaller because this is quite big for um, what I'm going to be working in. So, all right, let's just get started. So this page is. About 11 and 3 quarters inch. Again, it doesn't matter the size. If you've just got smaller ones, you're just going to take, take it and fold it over. I'm really missing my bone folder. Um, I've got one on order, but it hasn't arrived yet. So, so the long ways just fold that over and then decide where you're going to want that first pocket to come to or well this will be your first pocket so this is actually your second one and then just crease that again um, use this pen and see if that'll work yeah that works fine so that's created one pocket two pockets and now we're going to open it back up and you will see that that's you've got some score lines there. All you're going to do is just cut this score line up the center to where it meets there. <coughs> Sorry about that. Paul's uh, in here, and uh, so yeah, <laughs> you're probably going to hear him and Daisy. So I apologize for that. Alright, so that's all you're going to do there. So you open this back up. 
And then what you're going to do is because you've cut that down, that's now going to create another pocket here. So you've got one pocket, two pocket, and three. I mean, you, there's, there's so many things you could do. You could even add, um, you could flip this over and just make it like a little corner. In fact, let's just do that with this one. Just to change it up a bit. So now you'll have one pocket, two pocket, and then like a little tuck here. If you wanted to keep that as a full pocket, all you're going to do is just glue down the two sides. So let's get this glued down here and so the first one I'll just come over it with a bit of glue. Before I glue that next one down, I'm going to round the corners of this because I didn't do that on the last one. So before I go any further, I don't have a corner punch. So I am improvising by taking one of these Project Life cards. And uh, let me just round these off quickly. And the same with this one. I'm going to go ahead and round the corners. I had a, the envelope in my um, lockup. I've got the envelope board, and that's what I always use to round the corners. But I left that. Um, let's see if I can round this. Mm, that's going to probably be weird. I'm not sure if I can make a way around that one. I'm going to try it. It might look a bit weird, but hopefully it'll be okay. Yeah, that's okay. And then I want to go ahead and round the corners at the bottom as well. Now we've got this little pocket here. I'm going to go ahead and take my circle punch. This is a one and a quarter, but if you have a um, half of an inch or a one inch, um, it might work slightly better. I'm just going to try to get that center. Sorry guys, I can't do it the other way or I can't see where it's at. And then I want to do the same thing with this one. I want to just go ahead and try to... Um, I just think it looks nicer if you've got the little notches. And I didn't on that other one. <clears throat> I didn't do it. I had already glued it down and I couldn't fit that punch in. Those are quite big punches. Okay, so what we're going to do now is just glue these sides down. Um, just a little bit of this glue stick should hold it. In an ideal world, you would probably want to add some uh, stitching to this, and that's going to hold it better than, than just glue, but we're just going to make the faux. I did some faux stitches on that with a just a, a gel pen, and I like how that came out. Just add a little bit more detail to it. So now all I'm going to do is just glue this side down.
Okay, guys, let me just zoom out slightly so you can see a bit better. Okay, so um, just decide then. I mean, I added some doily, and you could add some extra book page. The more you add to it, the uh, sturdier it's going to become as well. But I'm just going to do a little bit of um, the tissue paper. I'll just add a bit of that here and probably a little bit down here. be nice to show that actually. So let me just save that. I'm going to put that down here I think. Alright, I'm just going to uh, be right back guys. I'm going to grab my um, artist gel and a paintbrush and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I just picked this up at Hobby Lobby um, last week. Actually no, it's been a couple weeks back now. This was on sale. They're 40% and then this um, paintbrush, I think I just got it at the dollar... I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, somewhere. But uh, I do find this a little bit easier when you're working with that really thin paper. So, And if you want to, you could, um, you can certainly go over the book page completely and that will um, make it a little bit, um, it adds like a protective layer if you're new, you know, and I know most of you that follow already know these things, but I'm trying to um, not assume everybody knows um, about it, maybe you're, maybe I've got some beginners here, um, so this will definitely add a lot more, um, you know, to make it a bit sturdier <coughs> to the book pages, which is nice because, um, you know, they are quite thin. Now, before you put a coat of the um, Mod Podge or the matte gel, you would want to go ahead and do all your inking because it's hard to get that uh, distressed ink afterwards. So just keep that in mind. Okay, I'm just going to put a little bit up here. And I'll just tear this bit off. Okay, well while I've got this out, let me just go ahead and add my um, some of the doily here and there. I couldn't find a, a smaller one of these, and uh, which is a shame because that's that's a lot, and I know I'm not going to use very much of it, so. So just be careful um, that you're not gluing these pockets back down. Just going to run that through there, make sure that's not uh, getting stuck. Okay, that's come along. So now I'm just going to need to let that dry for a few minutes before we uh, move on.
Okay guys, while that's drying, we're going to go ahead and get everything ready for our tags because we're going to need one, two, three. And I've measured it, and I think about three and a half inches is going to be fine to fit in these. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and fold this over. This is our second sheet of paper. Sit that up out of the way. So three and a half is going to put us there. I think that's plenty. Let me just measure. Yep, that'll fit in fine. So I'm just going to cut that there. going to be the first tag is going to go there and that should be about right for the second one. Let me just see. Yeah, I'll just trim a little bit of that off and we will need another book page so but that's okay I've got I've got quite a few of these. that and let me just grab one more So again, that, I cut that at three and a half wide uh, for this particular one, and I think, uh, let me just go ahead and trim a bit of that white off. Just save this bit of paper for another project. Yeah, that'll go in nicely. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and <laughs> round all my corners. Sorry about the shaking, guys. I'll let that sit and get a little more glue on that. That um, glue stick from Dollar Tree is not as good as it used to be. I used to use that about four years ago um, and I I haven't used it since then um, but I purchased some and I don't think it's the same formula so I probably won't be buying that again. <clears throat> Okay, let me just go ahead and round these corners and then I'm going to get those glued together just to make them a little bit stronger. I'm going to try to do this in one go. Just to make it a little bit easier.
So before I set off from um, the UK, I just packed one, let me show you guys what I actually brought. Now the contents have changed because I've got a couple more storage things. This was actually all I brought with me because um, it was all I could fit in a suitcase. So I've changed the contents from it, but I just grabbed a few of the um, bits of digital that I had left over because I thought, well, I'll take something in, in my mind. I was thinking for my own journaling. I uh, wasn't intending to get back to, you know, doing any videos, so I just grabbed those things, and um, <clears throat> I don't know why I had this Project Life card in there, but it's worked really well to be able to do the the little, um, or to round the corners until I decide on which corner punch to get. Um, I like to go through and read the reviews before I purchase anything. So I haven't decided on my one yet. So if you guys have any recommendations, let me know. Okay, so that's going to be our three cards. Now, let me find my glue stick here and get this glue together. And I brought this, um, the Tim Holtz heat pad, um, which works really good because... It'll save my table from getting all this glue on it, so I'm glad I thought to, think, to bring that as well. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just trying to decide. <clears throat> I'm trying not to buy any duplicates. Um, like I said to you in the previous video, I don't want to buy another eyelet, a crocodile because I've got one and it just they're so expensive I thought oh I don't but I do miss it I have to say even this project I was just itching to to put a little eyelet with some kind of dangle it just feels like it needs that so but it'll just have to wait until I can um, find maybe I'll you know maybe I'll get lucky at a thrift store or something and find one reasonable and then I could pick up some eyelets from the Hobby Lobby <clears throat> but it's room too but I do think I've got I probably could find room for a crocodile but I just gotta wait until I get a, a deal on one um, I'll be going back to um, <clears throat> Tallahassee this winter after our work is done but um, I don't have a crocodile in that storage unit. It's um, it's in the UK. So okay, now I want to go ahead before I forget. Let me just go ahead and ink because this is dry now. So I'm going to go ahead and ink this. And this is just some of the um, vintage photos. Turn it down a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to do these, and then I'm going to add some little tabs because I brought my Stampin' Up tab punch. That was one of the items that I brought. This was gifted, excuse me, gifted to me by my dear friend Andrea. So Andrea, thank you. Um, she knew I had been looking for that for ages and she sent me that. Oh gosh, it's been a couple of years back now. And so I was like, I'm not leaving that. That thing is never leaving my sight. Because <laughs> if you, you guys know, those are very hard to find. Oh, 
Okay, so that's enough inking for me at the moment. Let me just go ahead and get my little tabs on there and then I'll ink those. And then I think what I'm going to do is while I've got my gel out, I'm going to go ahead and give these a coat. Um, it'll make them a little bit sturdier for going in and out of the pockets. But So I've got these leftover, um, this leftover sheet and this is what I'm going to go ahead and glue it together because I want to double up the sheet for the tab. Oh, sorry guys about bumping that. I've got uh, this mounted in such an odd position. And uh, I just, while I'm doing this, I keep bumping it. So I am sorry about that jerky, the jerky camera. Okay, so there's one, and sorry about that, guys. Paul needed to go outside. Okay, so there's our inked up, and now I think I'll go ahead and put a bit of this gel on it. Now you don't have to do this. I've made these many times and not done this step. I'm just going to do it today because I, I, it'll make them just a little bit easier to get in and out of those pockets. Okay, so I'm going to let those dry for a little bit and 
and then just move them up here because it won't take very long for these to dry. Get them out of the way. And I'll show you guys what I pulled out. I thought it might be nice to do this one um, with a bit more color. Now I've purchased some of these stickers and um, I think I'll save a couple of these for the journaling cards. But it's really weird. Some of these are just kind of creepy. Like that one looks okay until you get up close. Let me show you some of the other ones. They all came, because it looked like they were all vintage, and this one's fine. I mean, most of them are fine. But then look at that. That's so, so creepy to me. So, I like the flowers on that, but I'm just going to come out and use that, because that's just weird. I don't know if it's supposed to represent a heart. I don't know, but I'm just going to use the flower bits from it. But I like the idea of this bird position there, so I'm just going to put that one on there. And I actually, let me just go ahead, I'm going to try to cut out some of these. I don't know if you guys have trouble, but I really struggle to get these stickers <coughs> to come off. So I think I'm going to have that there. So I was thinking if I can get the flowers just just above where I want this bird cage. Yeah, I had to really look at this image closely because I was afraid that it might be something. You know, it's just such a weird collection. I thought, oh man, what is it? Like some kind of dead something in the cr in the, the cage, but just birds. And I like these stickers because they're not shiny. Um, you know, some of them you can get. Uh, they don't really go with the vintage theme. So I think I'll just take this other little bit here and just add it up in the corner, over in that corner, I think. And then we'll get busy on our little tags and Okay, so this is going to be, oh yeah, these aren't dry yet. Okay, let me just give those a few more minutes to dry, and then we will finish this up. Okay guys, so now I just want to add these, the rest of these stickers to... And if these were journaling cards, I would back them with uh, probably some coffee dyed paper for writing. I uh, haven't had a chance to do that yet, but as soon as I get my paper and get those dyed, that will be something I'll go back and do, and I will stitch around those with them. Um, with some uh, thread. So I'm just going to add this little flower, and that will be peeking out behind this butterfly.
And then this is going to be the one for this pocket, so I like the idea of that one because that, I don't know, I'll put that on the large one. And let me see, I've got some other little stickers here. I'm just going to see if I want to add. <clears throat> kind of like the idea of the owl. stickers for ages. <clears throat> and then the last one here, I don't think I'm going to need this one. Just add some of this tissue paper and I was going to put that on there, but I'm not going to. Um, let me grab some of my um, quotes and see if I've got something I can put there. Okay guys, I've got some of these. I'm just thinking it might be nice to add something to that. It's a bit plain. Ooh, I like these as well. Hmm. Let me see.
Okay, let me just see if there's anything else I want to add to these. That's how that one's come out. I like that. I like the contrast of that gold. And then that's the front, the second tag, and the third one. we need a quote there. So let me see. I like this one. Collect beautiful moments. guys that is what you can do with uh, book pages let me zoom out sorry about that so there are you know some really quick easy pockets and tags that you can do and as I said you could just add a hinge and what do I mean by that if you take a piece of paper and fold it in half and then just cut that. I'm not going to cut this because I'm going to use it, but just pretend that I cut this down to that, okay? Then you would just glue that onto this and then glue the other bit to your journal page and then you'll have a, a little flip out um, pocket hold you know tag holder and pocket and if you did want to glue this in you could leave one side open for a fourth pocket so okay guys I hope you've enjoyed that little um, project today I'm going to be sharing some more ideas on how to use uh, index cards in our journals um, I've got some freezer paper. I mean, I'm just going to try to focus on really common items that you'll have in your house and how you can just take those um, and do them up into something nice for your journal. So take care, guys, and I'll be back soon. Bye.